Hi, today we're going to make a video about key casting and we're going to use a metal I haven't tried before, it's called gallium. Now gallium is a liquid at body temperature but because we're in Scotland and it's cold outside uh, we're going to use some hot water to melt it but we'll do that in a wee minute. How we're going to cast the key. We're going to cast the key for this five lever curtain ERA portless, portless lock. I'm going to use a cigarette case to cast the key in here. We use silicon putty and we'll use graphite dust as a release agent. First we're going to take some putty, it's two pack. It usually takes about two or three minutes to dry. It's kind of cold the day, so this is going to take a while. We're going to mix the two together, the blue and white blend, and then the chemical will start reacting. You've got to kind of work quite quickly once it starts. We'll split it into two halves. Put it as flat as we can in here. Do the same here. We've used plasticine backing in the cigarette case. It's too expensive to make a big mould at a time. So the, the plasticine stops it going everywhere. So we've got two evenly thinned out pieces of um, silicon mould. I'm going to use some graphite dust now. This is a release agent so they don't stick together. Side. Put the key in. We'll leave that in there until it dries and then we'll start the next part of the video with um, the melting of the gallium. We'll use a syringe to inject it in and we'll open the lock. Here see we go. We We're going to open up this mould and see what the key looks like inside. That looks okay to me. Take this out. Close the mould and pour the molten metal in there. Let's get some hot water in here. Let's warm up the equipment in the boiling water first just to make sure everything's nice and hot. Put some fresh water in there so it's nice and hot too. It's a Cold November day outside here. Put in the metal. There's a stand of metal ready. And that's it. Completely molten now. Right. We'll suck up the metal and we'll pour it into the into the mold. Because the metal's heavier than the water, it sinks, so you don't have to worry too much about this next bit.
Right, we'll leave that for a wee minute to see if the mould is, <laughs> is, is worked or not. We'll come back, leave it a few minutes to dry, or set, cool, and we'll come back to that. See you in a couple of minutes. Right, we tried gallium earlier, we tried about five attempts, it didn't work. It kept on cooling too quickly when it went into the mould, it didn't fill the mould properly. Uh, it's one of the only metals that expands when it cools, so the key was too big. And uh, when I finally did get a key that was looking pretty damn good, uh, as I was filing it, I dropped it in the floor. It smashed. So anyway, here's a similar, same mould. And I used Woods Metal. Woods Metal worked a treat. Um, it came out okay. That's a great way of casting. Here's a five lever lock. Key in the lock. That's it turned. Okay, I hope you found that informative with key casting. Um, thank you very much. Bye.